What's up guys, GTA Full Guru here, uh, I'm playing Fallout New Vegas and I'm going to show you how to get every single one of the snow globes in Fallout New Vegas. Um, there are seven snow globes, um, so not that many, but they are hidden pretty well, so it'll probably take you maybe two to three hours if you haven't unlocked the locations already to fast travel to them. So yeah, um, and it's worth it because you get a silver trophy and you also each um, snow globe is worth 2,000 point uh, caps if you give it to Mr. House. So that first one there was at Good Spring Cemetery, and yeah, the second one here is at Three Side Free Side North Gate. Um, just fast travel to Free Side; you can't miss it. Um, it's part of the story. Could get there pretty early on. Go to the Free Side North Gate. Only as soon as you enter, you'll come to here. You want to go left to that fort area there. And go through those doors, and then um, go up upstairs in this building, and there's and the second one will be there. So, yeah, um, these are pretty cool. Um, and yeah, you'll make you'll get two thousand caps per snow globe if you sell them to Mr. House in the house building in um, Casino Thirty Eight. I think it is Thirty Eight Tops Thirty Eight or something like that. Casino, you get two thousand caps each for them, so they're, they're worth a lot. So there you go. There's the second one, Snow Globe Mormon Fort. Number two finished. Yeah, you found a limited edition snow globe. Cool. Third one. Um, this is in Tops Thirty Eight Casino. Um, you go to this guy, and then normally it will just say "Stay here" or "Presidential Suite." What you need to do is you need to do a particular mission. I I'm not going to spoil it, um, but look it up on Google if you're curious. Um, to basically unlock the other areas of the casino, you just have to do um, a story mission for a certain. Uh, person or robot should I say um, when you've done that then you will have access to the whole suite and then you want to go to the cocktail lounge and it is behind a till so um, yeah so you want to uh, do the mission then you'll have access to the cocktail lounge and there it is behind there and I try and pick it out to show you it and uh, I fail it a little bit but there it is um, test site snow globe and it looks pretty cool so yep pretty well hidden that one um, considering you can't even get to that area if you don't do a particular mission so that is a pretty hot um, sneaky one that one um, number three I think this is number number four sorry um, this is at vault 21 It's basically when you get into the strip basically once you, f you first get in go all the way to the end of the strip that is the last gate and then it's a dead end and then the first shop you see to your right is the vault 21 gift shop and what it is, is there's a vault underground, and they've made Hello. a gift shop out of it, and you can buy things. You Hi. don't need to talk to her. Basically, open the door, go downstairs into the vault. There'll be people walking around because it's a tourist attraction. And then basically follow the exact route I go um, to get to this door. It's right at the back. Um, like, somehow, I don't make any mistakes here. I don't take any wrong turns or anything. Um, and there are quite a few... Make, it could, it's quite easy to make mistakes, and I don't actually make Watch any. So basically, you just follow this. Um, follow the exact way I go if you can remember if not watch the video whilst you play and uh, just follow this this path really and then you'll get to a door which you need to lock pick here you go it's an average lock so you need a lock pick skill of at least 50 to do it so if you don't have that you need to go do some missions level up get your lock pick skill up to 50 and there you go uh, you lose a bit of karma but it doesn't really matter um, you get a bit of experience for picking the lock, and there it is, right in between the two beds, the strip snow globe. Pretty well hidden, that one. Um, and then the fifth one is in Jacobstown. Um, fifth or sixth, like I've completely lost count, I think this is fifth. Jacobstown, um, it's quite far off the map, uh, I'll show you where it is. You basically uh, walk out there, I don't think there's a particular mission to actually have to go here, there might be, um, yeah, but um, just want to go there. So go to Jacobstown, and then it is on the desk um, as soon as you enter. So pretty easy there. As soon as you enter on the desk, snow globe, nice. We are one step closer to that trophy and lots and lots of caps. You get 14,000 caps by the end of this, and that is a lot of money in this game. That is, the, that is a crap load of money. So I'll speed this bit up. Speak, I didn't need to speak to this guy. And it's straight there on the desk. Mount Charleston, snow globe. Bang. Number six now. Um, this is... Where is this one again? This is Hoover Dam. 
Um, Hoover Dam, you will go there at the end of the game, um, but you can make your way there at any point during the game. Just go where that is on the map, just go there, Hoover Dam, is showing you the locations around and near it. Go to Hoover Dam, and then as soon as you, if you fast travel there, as soon as you spawn, you'll be exactly where I am there. Go straight through those doors, and it is on the desk, literally right in front of you. So I just show the dam here, and um, yeah, what it looks like. You can't actually jump off, which is... I was kind of disappointed about when to commit suicide off there for fun, but you couldn't. So that's sad. But yeah, as soon as you enter here, first snow globe on the desk. Easy. Number six finished. We are nearly there, guys. Our journey is nearly over. Number six, Hoover Dam. It's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, last one. Uh, this is probably the hardest one to find. Um, and this is at Nellis um, Air Base. So I've completely forgotten the name of it. It's Nellis Air Force Base. Um, this is where the boomers are. They're the guys that are basically have like rocket launchers attached to their shoulders, and they just they're extremely powerful. They basically um, just only use rocket launchers. Pretty much every single soldier. So you go go there. Um, just go where that is on the map. You'll uh, need to get in because they'll try and shoot at you with artillery. So you'll need to find a way around. Um, some guy talks to you and you'll find a way. Once you eventually get in, um, it's basically in the facility, you want to go right round to the back and it is the first little, it is the museum, the little um, museum room and it's right there on the table. Take Snow Globe and Nellis A Air Force Base or AFB. Awesome. And that is it guys. All seven Snow Globes. So yeah, um, like the video, this took quite, this took um, quite a while to make i don't normally make big videos like this that take loads of my time so hopefully you'll like and comment and subscribe hopefully that'll be awesome nearly reach 300 so comment let me know if this is helpful please like the video please subscribe and uh, there i'm just snowing, showing all the snow globes um let me know if you thought this was a good guide if there's anything i could improve on that would be nice to know um yeah so like the video guys please subscribe comment um yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed fallout new vegas is awesome <laughs> bye